sign of Scorpio. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for December 26th, December 27th, 2020. So that's your weekend, your Saturday and Sunday. Um, if you want a private reading or you want to support the channel, look in the description box below. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all of that. I appreciate each and every one of you. Just sending my gratitude out to you. So, before we start, um, just let you, we're going to do an oracle tarot and then the oracles after that too. So, we're going to start off with Kim Cran's archetype deck. I think that's a good one to start off with. Um, kind of gives you a theme for the reading. And that's how I look at it, at least. So we call in the divine white light to come and bless us as we're doing our reading. Bless you as you're watching the reading. Asking our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. <clears throat> to come in and help us with this reading. The Maiden. Whoops. The Maiden. All right. Let's look this up. This is number eight. Number eight. The Maiden. All right. So, the Maiden is <clears throat> the Virgin, the Princess, the Innocent, means curious, enchanting, sensual, and full of vitality. This person has much to learn still, but uh, the maiden is perfectly positioned for trouble to come their way and subject her to a challenge that leads to the next phase of womanhood. She must grow up, but she maintains the charms of youth. Then this is moving from maiden to the mother is challenging, often leaving unresolved tensions between the two archetypes for years, if not a lifetime. Isn't that the truth? That's... That's absolutely the truth. All right. Now we're going to go into the tarot. Scorpio for December 26th and 27th, 2020. More Scorpio. Now let's give it a sh shuffle this way. Um, Spirit, please help us with the message for the greater good for Scorpio. What is the challenge or the issue? Some, some new cycle. There's a new cycle about to start in your life. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it, it's a, something that's gone full circle. So it's like the end of a karmic lesson and almost like the beginning of something else doesn't have to be like a lesson but it more importantly is like a cycle in your life um, you have different pinnacles if you look in numerology you have different pinnacles in your life and that will give you more information if you look that up about what cycle you're going into so this is a phase where lots of things can be happening you can be having the the child a childbirth right you can be going from living with your parents to moving out um, it's the struggle between being the maiden and the adult. So, it is, if this were uh, a masculine energy, it would be going from the, you know, the gentleman or whatever, to the gentleman. From the gentleman to the adult. So, this is about something that's completed and something new is going to start. That's the challenge. The challenge could be an offer of love. Um, Knight of Cups usually gives information uh, that is good for you. You know, it's charming, it's nice, it's sweet. It's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The only reason this person can be challenging is that they're a little bit immature and they can be real, real super charming to everybody. So that that's kind of the negative aspect of the card, but... All in all, Knight of Cups is a pretty good challenge to have. This might be a challenge to get a job, too. Uh, let's look at Spirit Advice for Scorpio. 
justice. Things made fair. Things will be made fair. Things will be evened out in the long run. You reap what you sow and you know what you've sown. <laughs> so justice comes to you in some way, shape, or fashion. If this is talking about an actual court event, then it will go good for you. Now, Justice also could be representing a Libra in your life. So we've got the water signs and we've got a Libra. And this is spirit advice though. So I would think it'd be to make get something balanced, balance something that's out of balance in your life. All right, let's look at the past influence. For Scorpio, one card. All right, a journey, on a journey, on a trip. It could be this karmic cycle that completed before. <clears throat> that could be represented by the chariot. So we have cancer here too. Um, the, the chariot is about being on the ride to success, to victory. Uh, it's just about the journey, about getting there. Let's see what the future holds. Scorpio, all right. Knight of Wands, so something moving in quickly in your life, whether this would be talking about a job or um, a relationship or something, something's going kind of quick. Um, we just need to be careful with the details when we get this card um, so that we're not being careless. Um, so you've got two knights, it's almost like you've got two suitors. Are you dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra. All right, let's look at projected outcome for Scorpio. I almost see, as I say, I almost see justice again. <laughs> Looks just like it. It's the Hierophant. So there's going to be a commitment of some sort. There's going to be a really big commitment, probably one of the bigger ones in your life. Um, and this will come from the Hierophant and Hierophant energy. Um, also talking about the card of Taurus. Talking major commitment here to something, something. All right, let's get you a card from the Spellcasters Oracle. <clears throat> See if we can't add to this reading for Scorpio. This one wants to come out. Oh, wow. Life purpose. So what it is, whatever this is that you're um, committed to, it's part of your life purpose. This is part of your journey. It was meant to be on this journey. Might be, might be something like you planned during soul planning. Um, this is something that was meant to be. It's fated. It's destiny. All right. Let's get your wisdom of the oracle. We'll get a Wisdom of the Oracle, and then we'll do the tea leaves for you, Scorpio. And I will have the weeklies out soon, and then um, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole year one. I never remember the whole year one when I watch them, so I don't really know if I'm going to do that or not. But I for sure will do every single day, whether it be two days at a time or weekly, I will have it. Let's see, Wisdom of the Oracle for Scorpio. That one definitely, definitely wants to come out. Observer. Okay. Observer. Look at something from a neutral point of view. Kind of like looking at, um, oh, you know what? It reminds me of the Time for a Nap card, too. I don't know why, so it just looks just like it. <laughs> looks like with the moon and stuff, it looks like the time for a nap. So, so observer is, um, <clears throat> yeah, looking at something with a um, omniscient, omnipotent point of view, um, omniscience. So being able to see, perhaps even we could say seeing from spirit's point of view, seeing from spirit's point of view where everything is relevant, nothing is labeled good or bad. It is just, it's just an experience. That's, that's what this is. Um, you know, so if we can take a step back, if we can tell ourselves, you know, we've done this before, we even plan the challenges in our life. I, f I feel like we do. 
Um, it's to help us grow, to help us evolve. Wow, Treasure Island's on the bottom, guys. So, also might be coming into some money. All right, let's get some tea leaves for you, Scorpio. Oh. All right, and look, yes, bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. It's a really good one to get. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. Protection from a powerful friend. Apple, something will test you. Temptation will test you. Temptation, that devil energy. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could prove important. Might have to do with that handshake, the new job or something like that. Um, ink pot, problems to be resolved. Put that on the justice card because we know things need to be made balanced, whatever it is. We have stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. That would be a big commitment, right? Either one. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Nice, Scorpio. Really good so far. Horseshoe, good luck. Good luck. Sun, might be dealing with a Leo uh, or, or fire sign. You've got two suns in your reading. That's um, representing the divine, representing all, that's, all that we feel is good. <laughs> so happiness and well-being. Happiness and well-being. And then we have younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. All right, guys. Hope you liked your reading. Um, join me for the next one. And send much. I'm sending much love and light out to you. Bye.